Care will never come overnight. Um, the nature of land and its pricing and the planning process means that there will be a, a time constraint. But I think there's more of a recognition over the last few years that build to rent is, uh, is a tenure which is sustainable and which is worthwhile of investment um, at scale. And as the numbers grow, I think more people who will be in rented accommodation and will choose to stay in rented accommodation because they have more choice. Um, I think there's already a kind of uh, move towards scale because, I mean, modest developments and get livings developments and habits developments, platforms developments, I mean, there's several thousand units involved in all of that. Um, you know, and those are by, you know, no stretch small schemes on their own. You know, a £120 million scheme in Springside and Ember is a significant built to rent scheme. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, once two or three of these schemes are coming out of the ground and there's a bit of um, builder work actually happening, then I think you'll start to see, um, you know, more people coming in behind. I mean, Moda are telling me that they're going to be on site on in Glasgow doing the demolition at the end of November this year. They're going to be on site in Springside in April next year. So by this time next year, we should be, um, you know, a bit more advanced in the actual stuff that's in the ground. Scottish housing target is £35,000 houses per annum and we build 17,700 and we've static and plateaued on that really for about the last three years so you know we're still under supply so add into that whether you're going to get built to rent through to meet what you need in terms of demand I still don't think you're ever going to meet that I think you will improve it you've also got resources have we got the trades? Have we got the labour? Have we got the skills? Um, if you had that stability and build to rent should in effect give you that stability because you're not in that boom bust cycle of mortgage availability, that should hopefully help smooth your supply chain and people be prepared to invest in their labour and upskill. So build to rent, if you can get it, if we can get it to work, it should be hugely beneficial, but we still just need to get give it that push to get it out of the ground. Yes, it can, yeah. We think, you know, if you were building at, um, at UK rates, we shouldn't be at 6,000, we should be at 12,000. If we were building at London rates, we would be at, at 20,000. Um, so there's still a long way to go, and I think we're just uh, really at the start of the journey. Uh, we have to achieve the scale because we're not building enough homes uh, for mortgage buyers to buy. Uh, our population is growing uh, and uh, it is a political necessity that we achieve the scale. Governments fundamentally have three primary roles that they have to achieve. They have to provide security for their population, they have to provide food, and they have to provide shelter. Local authorities have a statutory obligation to provide housing. They do not have a statutory obligation to provide local swimming pools. We, that's not to say that swimming pools aren't important, but housing is more important, and that is going to be uh, a key understanding that I'm sure is running through all local authorities that we speak to, that housing is absolutely at the top of the agenda, and build to rent is the only way to deliver it at scale and at speed. There aren't any other options. Uh, in the right location, absolutely, yes. Um, uh, and you know, there's a fundamental demand there for, for this product. And, but when we say this product, we don't just mean one thing. So it's not just you know, a, you know, a number of big shiny buildings, it may be a whole variety of sort of sub-niches of the build to rent sector. They're all purpose designed, all purpose managed, and all purpose built for, for rental. Um, but they will appeal to different sectors, uh, whether that's city centre, suburban, or, or even outside. Uh, I'm very hopeful that with the package that we put in place, uh, we'll see investors uh, coming to Scotland uh, and to building here. Um, I've uh, been quite impressed by some of uh, the projects that I've seen south of the border 
Uh, I'm very happy at what has happened here so far, uh, but I hope that uh, more investors will see Scotland uh, as a market to, to come to.